in Secret Invasion, that Nick Fury is all worn down, beat up, and tired. That Fury is completely different from yeah. this Fury. That Fury is completely full of life. Welcome back to The Break Room, everybody. We know that you all have a lot of lingering questions about the Marvels, whether it's why did it happen, what's happening, what's gonna happen, and probably still, why did it happen? Well, we're gonna take care of those today. I'm Jay Washington, here with the producer who shouldn't be talking on camera, <laughs> Evie Yee. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good to be here, glad to be in front of the camera. Out of his hole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Evie's out of his <laughs> hole. <laughs> And also joining me, I haven't seen her in so long, Kim Orchard. Hey, everybody. Kim has no idea what the hell is going on. Um, I, I usually am in a different kind of environment when I'm working on in front of the camera, but here we are. This is what happens. Welcome yeah. to the break room. Hi. All right, Evan, you take it away from here. All right, so today we're talking about the lingering questions, like Jay said. I feel like a lot of people might have some questions about the movie, so if you're watching live on Twitch, drop some questions in the chat. Um, but also, Jay, you weren't here on Friday. Kim and I gave uh, you know our reviews about it. How'd you feel about the movie? So this has become a negative thing to say. It was a fun movie. It's become yeah. negative. We to say did that. talk about that too. Koi yeah. said that, and I disagreed with him that fun is a four-letter word because I Hold think. On. Okay, go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. Go I had ahead. fun, but I also enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the movie for what it was. Mm -hmm. It is for me. I watch a lot of these MCU movies as this. Oh, it's another movie. I understand yeah. it's a chapter in a giant story, right? And I understand there are so many moving pieces. A lot of times the pieces don't seem to know where they're going. Right. But I got to see Amon Vellani shine as a star. Mm -hmm. I got to watch Brie Larson be Brie Larson. I got to watch my homegirl Tiana have a blast doing it. So that's why I enjoyed what I saw. And we got a little bit more into what's to come for the future of the MCU. So yeah. that's my general, basic, how I felt. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't... And I don't like the fact that fun is a four-letter word. <laughs> I think there's something to be said for having fun and mm -hmm. ha being, you know, having enjoyment. Mm -hmm. That's literally like what entertainment is supposed to be, right? Entertaining. Yes. However, I need a good story and I need, I need to have a full storyline for all three leads. I need it to make sense as a full picture. I mean, what I said in the review was there were lots of these this that I liked, mm -hmm. many pieces that I liked. But when I saw them as a whole, it didn't work for me. So what would you say, I, I, know, what, I know what you mean by full story, mm -hmm. right? Do you think the story is complete with them though? Do you think this is just a stop? Because now look at it like this. You've got Captain Marvel, You've got Monica Rambeau's introduction in WandaVision, mm -hmm. then you have Miss Marvel. So now you intersect them together in the Marvels, and we're still going further. I think you're being very forgiving, because I think a movie needs to be a movie, even if it's part of a greater cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. It needs to have its own beginning, middle, and end, arc that starts here and ends there. And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty forgiving of these things, too, because I like the whole as a... As a whole, yeah. I like the greater thing, but it just, it wasn't there for me. It really felt like this was cut, like scenes were cut out, bits and mm. pieces were used here and there. I mean, we were talking on Friday, like, why does Monica have two glasses? Why didn't they have that scene? Oh, yeah, and on the musical planet, yeah. She just, she just dancing <clears throat> with two glasses. Which we'll get into a little bit, too, today as well, yeah. Um, and I just, I, I kind of just mourn what was, I think, is missing. Okay. Something's missing. And it, I, it, it has, it's almost there. It's almost there. I feel there, like your soul is missing. Oh, no. Uh, I just, you know, I have high expectations. And I think as a fan, that's okay that's, to that's, not there's have nothing wrong with everything that. Yeah. to see. No, no, and that's, I 100% I agree. I think with the, I think the expectation part for everybody, we all have our different levels of expectations. And I think now, post Endgame primarily, Mm-hmm. Everything Marvel has put out post Endgame has had these super high expectations. Yeah, totally. No matter what. I get you, but I don't think that's what I'm saying. Because once we hit like this zenith point of Endgame, where mm. it was like, oh, the next one's going to be even greater. But really, what we should have been looking at was no, we had phase one, phase two, phase, right. phase three. We had a build up. 
Right, right. I agree with you. Where is this building? We're at the end of, not the end. We're like in the middle of phase five now. No, are we? I don't yeah. think we started five. We're in five. Wait. Let's see. I thought we were still in four. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is this as a whole? But mm. that's a different problem. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, talking on the topic of things being like taken out or so what do we do we think things were cut out of this movie? I mean, there apparently was some like lengthy reshoots, quote unquote. And we do see we, there was that moment where she was holding glasses. We didn't see like how they got, you know, to the castle or whatever. Like, Jay, did you feel like there were things missing or like if, you know, thoughts on that? I think they probably cut the time with that. Yeah. Because I believe with the whole planet that everybody's singing, dancing. My thing is. I think that scene was way longer because it was so much song and they all talked in song. Yeah. So I believe that scene was probably way longer and someone probably said, this is really going to upset people. Mm -hmm. They wanted to keep the planet in there. Mm -hmm. You know, they wanted to keep that plot point in it because they are the reason they get their new suits, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But I think it was like, we got to figure out how to trim this for time mm -hmm. in certain ways. So I would be willing to watch a DaCosta cut I would too. I would too. <laughs> I would like to see that. El Ellie Finelli saying after a rewatch, re the glasses were given to her on the way into the main hall. Okay. Interesting. Okay. okay. But it does feel like that. I, I do agree, Jay. Like out of anything, I think there was a rumor that also that there were supposed to be more on the musical planet, mm -hmm. and it probably did seem like we talked about this a little bit on Friday, but it seemed like a little bit maybe out of place or like tonally it was like a weird shift for the movie. But I understand that like in the comics, everyone like talks in song there, right. and it's supposed to be fun. And and I I was like hoping that it could be like a bigger it just moment. Was tonally different so I, mm -hmm. I would like a lead in and a lead out maybe or just just more context yeah, yeah do yeah. you think it would have the tone would have worked better and I was I've been thinking about this for the past couple days mm -hmm. if the lead of the movie is not Carol Danvers if the lead of the movie is Kamala Khan yeah because mm -hmm. then the comedic beats everything that happens fit right along with Miss Marvel you get what I'm saying if mm -hmm. it had been through her lens you, so you like get what I'm coming with. She's, the, she's the one carrying the whole story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, watching, we're watching Carol through Kamala's, through Kamala's eyes. Yeah. That could be cute. That could work. Because I'm, I'm thinking about that in, those, in that sense. Like, I get it's like Captain Marvel didn't have this much level of seriousness. It just didn't. There was quips for the 90s of what it was supposed to be, right? Mm -hmm. Those little quips. But those were from Nick Fury more than anything. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> those were from Fury. I do like how. Brie is different playing Carol in this one. Like yeah. She's a little bit lighter and a little bit more like what we like, might be used to seeing from Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. She is missing her best scene partner, which is Samuel L. Jackson, most of the time. So that that is kind of a, a hindrance on her. It does. you know. And, and as much as everybody's like, well, it's supposed to be with Tiana, this is really the first time the two of them have worked together. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. little M Monica Rambeau is a different story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I saw a tweet about uh, Amon Vellani's fangirl and over, you know, how Kamala Khan fangirls over Carol Danvers. And mm. it was like, oh, it's too much. I'm like, no, it's no, not. No, it was good. No, yeah. It's it was, exactly what she's going to exactly, do. Exactly. Yeah, it was so yeah. endearing. It was so endearing. And especially when when you had the scene on the Skrull Colony, spoilers, where, <laughs> you know, you have Carol yell at her, like, we save who we can. And she like, yo, it's that never meet your heroes moment. Yeah, mm. yeah. But I, I, that's the thing. I think if we see it through... I get the eyes we see it through. It's our Carol Danvers. This is Carol Danvers' movie, basically. Mm -hmm. This is the Marvels is Captain Marvel too. Kinda. That's what it originally was. Remember? I know. I know. Yeah. I it, I do think that Monica and Kamala are like co-leads. Oh, no, absolutely. If you had to say who's the lead lead, yeah, it's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They absolutely are. It's absolutely three leads in this movie. I just think that like if we saw the whole thing through Miss Marvel's eyes. If they even did a lot of the cartoon play out through a lot of this more. I know, yeah. Like, because when you see it in the beginning, just to introduce her again, yeah. I was like, ooh, are we going to get more of this? That was me. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree. Like, I do think that if the movie had been rooted in more of a singular point of view, it would have felt a little bit more coherent for me. But I do agree that it's, like, nice to see all three of them together and like the way they play off of each other you know look there's certain rumors that again we talked about things being cut for time scenes being om omitted mm -hmm. but there's also rumors that there were other people supposed to be in this film right yeah so you heard one evan yeah colby smolders when they were doing interviews for secret invasion i think the hollywood reporter was saying that she was supposed to be in the movie as well i think people then disprove that later on but also it is interesting to think about because 
Captain Marvel or the Marvels was supposed to come out when, before Secret Invasion, mm -hmm. like when Quantum Mania was supposed to come out, and that would have changed everything. You That's know. True. Um, do you think that there may have been scenes with Colby Smulders, like if her talking to Fury on Saber or anything like that? Some small little scene. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. She, she, he was talking to like just random Saber people, so those could have easily been. Yeah, Maria Hill. Because yeah, there was a random true. six foot eight black dude on set, on the ship, and I was like, where did he come from? He just works there. He just works there. He just there. works there. Yeah. And he's three hundred some years old on top of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just what you just Yeah, gotta... it would have been nice to get an explanation of like, what? Where is he from? He is literally a diversity hire. You got a six oh, foot no. eight <laughs> alien black dude that's three hundred plus years old working in space. <laughs> Build all the quotas right there. Build them all. Um, but yeah, do you think like that placement? Like, would we have seen more with the scrolls, especially given that? You know, Captain Marvel's like a large part of her story was trying to like make good on like the Kree, you know, invasion, everything like that. I suspect a lot of Skrull stuff was taken out. Okay. I, it, it just didn't feel like a, a whole. I mean, you were talking about the connecting being a throwaway line in Secret Invasion. Mm -hmm. Like, if oh, he's not with us, the, if they're not with us, they're with him. Mm -hmm. And it was so short, and it felt like, was this cut because they saw a Secret Invasion was not going to land well? Mm. I wonder. Okay. Yeah, because they do get rid of, like, they're like, oh, Valkyrie can just save them. Or Everyone whatever. likes Valkyrie. Yeah, that's true. that's true. I mean, it keeps the connectivity with the world and everything. Yeah. You put scrolls in New Asgard, mm -hmm. they can assume regular human form. It works. I just think maybe there was more with the scrolls. But going back to Secret Invasion, I keep, and I've been saying this, and yes, y'all, I'm about to bring up my multiverse theory again. <laughs> because I believe this shows that Secret Invasion was in a different universe. Because of how Nick Fury is in the movie. Yeah. In Secret Invasion, that Nick Fury is all worn down, beat up, and tired. His wife, who got that good scrussy, shot at him. No. Kim, it was a term that uh, we do. Maybe it was I said more often the than not. I understand the etymology. You don't have. I figured it out based on context. Okay? The fact that Evan broke it down was like so. When a I scroll. understand how the works. So the fact that Evan was like when a scroll has. Yes, it. I know. But that fury. I just don't like it. <laughs> that fury is completely different from yeah. this fury. The Fury that went back to save. This is a Fury on Saber that is full of life, mm -hmm. upbeat. Yes, again, shifting in, in schedule and releases do play a factor. Yeah. But that Fury is completely full of life. And that's not Talos anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, because remember, we found out he was at one point. But that's not him. That's Fury. Yeah. That's the actual Fury that's on Saber. That's a dip, way different Fury than what we saw. And even in this short amount of time that's lapsed, in between Secret Invasion and the Marvels, however they wrote them and decided they were going to release them, there's no mention of Gaia. Mm -hmm. There's no mention of Talos. These are just, to me, that's what that, again, the multiverse saga. Mm -hmm. We have, that's the only, I think the problem is, because you and I were bringing this up earlier, you don't know where it's going to an extent, right? Yeah. They haven't acknowledged it yet. The words multiversal war have been used. Mm -hmm. The words multiverse have been used. But at no point, the closest thing we got to kind of acknowledging that we probably are watching is in Loki's finale. Yeah, That's yeah. That's the closest we've gotten to finally acknowledging we may have been watching different worlds this whole time. Mm -hmm. They need to finally acknowledge it. That's just my thought. Yeah, I mean, I do wonder, and it's like a nice, you know, segue to our next topic about like the end of the movie, how this, you know, the realities are a new version of an incursion that we've, mm -hmm. you know, ha is happening. Like, do you think that we could have seen a moment in this movie where we were like mirroring another timeline, like seeing something from Secret Invasion happen or something like that? Mm -hmm. Like seeing like two, I mean, maybe the post credit scene was elements of that could have been played out in the movie, right? Seeing another Captain Marvel, seeing binary, right? Mm -hmm. Or seeing like Brie Larson as binary and being like, wait, what's going on, you know? I think it was perfect. I think, again, spoiler alert, uh, seeing the binary that we got mm -hmm. was perfect. Yeah. Because that is Captain Marvel right. in that regard, so. I like the ingenuity of your theory, but I don't think they would invest this much time in an alternate universe. You think everything has been one universe? I think mostly. I think at least if there's if anything it would be small. Not not the whole movie. 
Which one is our universe? Ca the Marvels. The Marvels. The Marvels is Secret ours. Invasion is a different one. Is a different one. Okay. That could be a good way to write off the guy what thing. is Marvel's worst project. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense business-wise. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, a lot of people feel like that was Moon Knight, to be honest with you. I mean, some of the stuff he did. If, if it's... I, I don't know. Are we ever going to see Moon Knight again? Supposedly season two is in development. Uh, supposedly. Keywords. Yeah. Supposedly. supposedly. <laughs> I mean, hey, if we see Moon Knight Season 2, we'll see Vision Quest, I guess. Because, well, we are like, getting Wonder Man still. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're still getting Wonder Man. That's happening, so. Yeah. I, I, I'd be really, it'd be really interesting to see how they, like, make that announcement, right? If, if the, your theory is right, like, how they would go about being like, okay, what's the one project where we're going to be like, this is the one for you to see that Deadpool. at all? Oh, in Deadpool. Yeah, that's Deadpool. true. That's true. Because his world's going to be collapsing. Mm -hmm. He's having, He needs to get Logan. That's how you get Logan back. He needs Logan. Right. He's got Logan from another timeline. Mm -hmm. From another universe, excuse me. That yeah, X, yeah. That X, remember, Colossus has... Colossus is sued in Deadpool, I think. Even though it was the red and what It kind of mirrors the old Brian Singer universe, if I'm thinking about it correctly. I think so, yeah. So... Logan's would kind of be that black leather motorcycle. Mm -hmm. This Logan is yellow and blue that we've seen in the photos. Right. Which means he's gotten Logan from another universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, we know the TVA is involved. Mm -hmm. So it's literally that this is going to be the movie that tells us we're watching different worlds. Yeah. Or we'll heavily rumored. Or we're heavily. The TVA heavily... is involved. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the TVA is involved. <laughs> If anything, just to be like, yo, you might get a Miss Minutes pop up. You might not get a like. Well, I won't even say heavily involved. I'll say involved. Yeah, sure. Involved. Okay. But I think that'll be the way. That'll be the explanation of these are different worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Sorry. would like that. I just don't. I don't know that they'll do that. But it sounds like a good way to trash the stuff that didn't work and kind of get a do over. But that's what all multiversal things are. Yeah, Look, that's, just, that's your outlook. It's just the investment. I'm like. Mm. Remember, Flashpoint was supposed to be an investment, and then they screwed that okay, up. Okay, that's DC. <laughs> I, how, no, no, I hear you. But that was their way to reset everything originally until your lead became the most torturous and terrible person on the planet. Yeah. And then all these other things. But still, with, you have Secret Wars, which Secret Wars is an automatic reset. You're building to your reset. Mm -hmm. And by the way, can y'all stop with the original five and six coming back? <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is not putting that suit back on for that many times, y'all. He's gonna put it on one time. He'll put one it on more one time. more time, that's and that's yeah. it. Chris <laughs> Evans, he might come back as Nomad. He might. This way, he don't have to be Captain America. Oh yeah, yeah. Because there's the thing of what he did during the, that he might have fought Red Guardian. Because mm -hmm. remember, Red Guardian from uh, from Black Widow kept saying, "I fought Captain America. Yeah. I fought Captain America." That's probably why. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody I think in the chat the other day was saying like, wouldn't it be cool to see a special presentation of Captain America returning all the stones and then like living all that's the him as no life? Man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. him as no I'd man. Be like, oh, that'd be sick. <laughs> you have to pay him a lot of money to do this. Yeah, yeah, but hey, after uh, Ghosted, I mean, I'm sure he's he's down. <laughs> He's like, you know I what I do? I think his career is going fine. He's, he's okay. Yeah. Chris Evans is having the greatest time of his life now. He's America's ass. Mm. Um, I guess on the topic of X-Men, though, what do you think, like, how many more... Of... Spoiler alert! Yeah. Isn't this I think whole this, thing I think this whole thing yeah, is... Yeah, you know, some people click into the show now. Do you guys not put a spoiler warning off no, the top? They don't. Oh, you really We should, should have. We should have. Oh, yeah, they don't. We forgot. <laughs> yeah, they don't. That's They're why I kept saying it. They're legally allowed to... That's why, I keep saying, that's why I keep saying it. They're like, they don't, they don't put it up. Um, how many more of the X-Men do you think we're going to see? Obviously, there's a lot of rumors about the original like Fox X-Men. Like, Do you think we'll see a ton of people returning, and how soon? Like, Obviously, the big, the easy answer is, I think, Secret Wars, right? Mm -hmm. Secret Wars, we could see a lot of them being featured do in, you, but do we think we'll get a trickle of other people in first? By return, do you mean like the old cast from... Yeah, the old cast. I, I guess, Jensen, I guess the old Morris cast, all but them. also just characters. I mean, I what do you think? I would say the old cast is relegated to Deadpool 3. Mm, okay. New yeah. new castings for going forward. Going forward. Oh, yes. Sure. yes. Yeah, yeah that would like, make sense. They're, they're kind of a little older, you mm -hmm. know, and this could be a good reset, as we've mentioned and mentioned. Yeah. So well, you want to cast someone with longevity. Mm -hmm. Also, let's, let's ask this question honestly. Which beast do we all prefer? Kelsey Grimmer or Nicholas Holt? Because <laughs> Kelsey Grimmer's beast was the greatest thing ever. 
to I see know. that big beast uh-huh. and to be the way he was, yeah. you're like, okay. But then you remember Nicholas Holtz, and I, I had nothing wrong with it. Yeah, Don't get me yeah. wrong. But if I have to choose, I choose. Now, maybe they do a blend of both. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they do a blend. You get a few from old, that old universe, a few from this one. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to call Storm and see what she says. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's not going to tell. I know she's not going to tell me. But <laughs> you may get a blend of them. But I think all in all, this is leading to what the biggest thing is going to be. Mm-hmm. I think this is now the introduction to Secret Wars. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And that's that, all and kind of a big. Because thing. now Monica knows, Monica's learning what the hell are mutants? Yeah. What are X Men? What what is what is this? She knows about people with beings with abilities, mm-hmm. but now Hank is going to tell Charles there are heroes that have destroyed the world in her universe. Yeah, because think about it, the Avengers might have saved people, but technically they've destroyed a lot in the process. Yeah, that's but you'll true. never know her sacrifice that she did for what. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I'm a Wanda apologist. Okay? <laughs> she shouldn't have done it. It was bad. Look, Wanda, Wanda messed up everything. Uh, look, unless for everybody who don't want to believe it, if Wanda would have just let her living vibrator die, none of this would have happened. <laughs> no. I don't. I would not call Vision that. I mean, we get into the sci-fi of what, what is life? What is it? What quantifies living? Yeah. And then you start wiggling around, and no one knows. It's all wiggly. I do think this builds up to what Secret Wars is going to be, though. I think it, I don't think I think Kang is taken out mm-hmm. in Kang Dynasty. Yeah, I want Kang out like now. Yesterday, <laughs> I am over this. I am ready to move on to Secret Wars, X Men. Like as soon as I saw the Young Avengers tease, I was like, "Let's do this now." Let's just go with this now. Let's just yeah. do, this. Let's do this now. Please don't Disney Plus Young Avengers. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and that's like, I mean, that's a great point. Like, what, who do you guys think is going to be on the Young Avengers? Because I'll be honest, I didn't have that scene spoiled for me at the end of the, so when I saw that at the end of the movie, and I don't even think we talked about it last week, I was like, oh shit, like, let's There's go. There's one answer you know? I really, really want, but I'm not positive they'll do, and that's mm-hmm. Miles Morales. Oh. Yeah. That's the only one I yeah. really want. Otherwise, it'll be like Billy and Tommy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. uh, Elijah. What's Bradley. 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 Bradley, yeah. Um, they'll grow up to Chala somehow. They'll grow up. They'll grow up to Chala. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because he's the uh, kid. Yeah. They'll grow Little T'Challa. Up. Little T'Challa. Yeah. They'll mm-hmm. grow him up. I think you'll get, you, you'll pull Yelena off the Thunderbolts. Riri. You get yeah. Riri. Yeah, because her stuff's still. <laughs> she doesn't have anything to do now. Yeah. She still got to, her, her still got to, I think, his, Young Avengers is great, but it's like, can we just get to it? Yeah. But it's like, what do you do with it? Do you make it a movie? Or I think do, it's a Disney Plus series in the making. A game. series like I think that's what's going to You happen. build it up to a series. Okay. Because like, I'm oh, like. Oh, Yelena. That's what you say. Yeah, you pull yeah. from Thunderbolts. Yeah. Oh, I want her. Yeah. Now let's, let's do this in Thunderbolts. Because you have to have her. You have to have her. Kid Bishop. Yeah. Okay, Kid Bishop. You got to have that's that great. consistently. I think that's. that's a, Yes. Give me give me the Young Avengers. Maybe bring let like, White Vision figure out what he's going to do when he lead them somehow. Somewhere. You don't have to call him White Vision. That's what I'm calling him. It's, it's troubling. <laughs> no, oh, it's I don't want a character uh, don't, named that. He's he, he White Vision. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, that's a White Vision. That, that, that right there, that's North Carolina White Vision. <laughs> this is like the... Uh... <laughs> The dark wing uh, night boy conversation. Night, night boy conversation. Yeah, yeah. invincible. That's a white vision, okay? Oh no. Why am I? Why am I white? Is this what I am supposed to be? Yes, that's exactly what you oh, are. Man. As you phase through life. So, if for the Young Avengers, if they bring in uh, Billy and Tommy, how do you think they actually do that? Because the last time we saw them, they were like really young, and also, do you think they're gonna pull them from a the, they pull them the, from the universe? Um, universe. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Because remember, they don't exist. Yeah, they don't exist in the our. Universe, they don't exist, right? so they have to yeah. pull them from another universe. They know that their ability. Remember, now there's a file on every fucking body. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a file on everybody. You had intel on me. <laughs> that <was> awesome. <laughs> you know, so and think about it. Kamala had the whole file thing for Kate yeah. Bishop. So there's a file definitely on the kids, and it guarantees it says the kids were created via magic. Mm-hmm. America Chavez could be on the team too. Oh, I yeah. forgot she and I she's just the, remembered her. And yeah. she's the key to getting the kids. Yes. She'll oh my god, them. she'll punch she'll punch the yeah. she'll punch the universe to get the, she wow. knows how to control it now because mm-hmm. she's been in Carmitage. Yeah. 
So she's she, we need some other help. Punches through to this universe, and gets yeah. Billy and Tommy. That's how we get Wong in this too. <laughs> and, and everything. And Wong we gotta if you get Wong, yeah. you gotta get Madison. That's what the why not. It's not where you, you think. think. Uh, yes. Incredible. Oh Name my god. More iconic duo. Yeah. We'll see her. We'll for sure see her. I just think those are their their plans in place, their things to do. Yeah. Again, so when you say I agree with you, Kim, when you say just look, let's get past Kane. I'm over it. You, let's go. It just I don't think it panned out the way it was supposed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it is not this has nothing to do from right now out the gate with the Jonathan Majors accusations, because that's another thing in itself. It's just that the delivery of Kang the Conqueror has not been anything. It's too slow. It's too slow. When Thanos came, when you just saw dude say, fine, I do it myself. <laughs> it was like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah. You were like, oh, okay. And we didn't even really need to see. We saw him, his face yeah. in Avengers. We saw him, he'll do it himself. Mm-hmm. We saw him talk to Ronan and tell him about himself yeah. in Guardians. <laughs> him tell, play with me if you want to, fam. Play, play with me. And those enough, those little things in itself built up enough to when Infinity War happened, yeah. you were like, oh. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. This dude is real. This yeah. is a problem. This is a problem. We've gotten Kang the Conqueror killed by ants in the quantum realm. Ants. We got Victor Timely. Then we got He Who Remains. Who, like, is pretty ambivalent. Just, just, he's there. Yeah. He's there. Yeah. I understand the variance. Or, because if, what if you go, if you gonna flip this on his head, the next Kang has to be this dude that is a problem. Mm-hmm. There, there cannot be any, oh, there's just another Kang out there. Just another Jonathan Majors. Yeah. He works at a Starbucks. <laughs> he doesn't know his future, but he makes an amazing pumpkin chai latte. <laughs> You know, he, what if we give him this book? <laughs> yeah. What if we give him this <laughs> book? He, he tell him he's the secret recipe. Yeah. And he changes everything. There's a special menu at Starbucks. But like also everybody knows it. Doom is right there. Yeah. He is. Yeah. You don't even have to take the mask off. Mm-hmm. You that can, would be so exciting. Don't take the mask. Just have the dude turn around with the tunic and the mask on. Yeah. Just mention, You don't even have to cast him yet. You don't even have yeah. to cast him. You can just introduce him. All we got to hear is the word Latveria. We have not, you hear the word Latveria, you know he's Everyone loses yeah. their mind. They lose their mind. Yeah. We lost their mind when we heard the word Wakanda in Avengers Age of Ultron. Right, yeah. You hear Latveria, you know exactly well, what it means. Baxter building even. Yes, yeah. Baxter. We're like, Whoa! What's coming next? One, two, three. Who's it for? Oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, you might want to watch The Bear, too, when it comes to Fantastic Four. Now, I'll just tell you that. I'll tell you that when we stop recording. I mean, I do think it's interesting because, like, the rollout of Thanos, as we've kind of um, learned, is, like, it was kind of, like, piecemeal, you know? It wasn't mm-hmm. always, like, the big plan, right? And I think with Kang and all of the things that he's been a part of now, it's, like, really cool when you're building out the lore, but you know, when we're expecting it and you expect the audience to be watching every single you know, thing to know how, like why this character is gonna be so important at the end, it does, it, like, it's maybe asking too much you know, from the audience. Whereas with Thanos, it was built up so slowly and subtly over time that even by the time he was there, you basically were like, oh, here we go, we see him. We see he's coming to Earth and even if you hadn't seen Infinity War, uh, anything before Infinity War, you'd be like, oh, this guy is just like, He's evil. <laughs> My man's walked on the Asgardian ship and was like, go ahead and run that real quick. Put that in there. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go on do this. Yeah, yeah. I think I agree. And Kim, you maybe can speak to this more mm. than I can. The fact that he wasn't supposed to be the villain anyway in the yeah. first three phases. Yeah. Is what changed. Sometimes things work. Sometimes plans change. Yeah, he yeah. was not. Thanos was not supposed to be the villain. Because at first, they were gonna, it was going to be Thanos and Avengers 2. Mm-hmm. And Josh Whedon, who everybody has a no, normal reason to be like, don't say nothing no more. Because he's <laughs> a bad person. Terrible. If you really want to go ahead. <laughs> Josh Whedon told them no. <laughs> it's <a> bad things. <laughs> bad things. But Josh Whedon told them no. To let them know, no, don't do this. Mm-hmm. He can be a bigger threat. The fact, like you said, the fact they introduced it, they said, this is who the threat is. Yeah. I, don't, I think they should have never introduced, said who it was. Yeah. You should have let him pop up in Loki. Mm-hmm. Who the hell is he who remains? Yeah. All of a sudden he says, my variants. What variants you got? <laughs> and then you see him in the costume. That would have built the, do you think you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that would have built like, more anticipation. Just a little too much, you know? Yeah. 
like a little bit too much and a little like the concentration of what's threatening or exciting or scary just wasn't yeah. there when we have you know stumbling bumbling victor timely who i didn't enjoy a lot of his story in this season of loki i think it was one of the weakest parts and he's highly defeatable yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah we, we never saw anyone kill thanos or hurt thanos before mm -hmm. like it was a big deal when someone landed a scratch on his face yeah all that for a drop of blood yeah, yeah. oh so good. <laughs> Again, just give me look. We've already got magic. We've got science. Just give us doom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, before we get to some chat questions, um, hey, did you know we're doing a live show this Thursday, yes. Los Angeles? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not talking to me. <laughs> Hey, New Rockstar is putting up a live show at Brain Dead Studios on November 16th, this Thursday. Show the graphic. If you're in the LA area, come and check it out. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be working. Uh, Eric will be there. Tom will be there. It'll be a fun time. So click the link in the description and, or head to dice.fm and search for New Rockstars. And also, we got some great merch. We have this awesome Loki shirt that John made last week. <laughs> that, that, no, 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 no. But you want to see the other shirt? No, no. Oh, yeah, that's I a great like that shirt. Oh, shirt. That shirt. That shirt's nice, but I think the second shirt's better. Okay, I haven't seen it. Okay, I have seen it, <laughs> and I do like it a lot. Because the kitties, <laughs> the kitties were one of my favorite parts of the movie. Yeah. The that's, flurkins. So that's check true. out nerdride.shop for uh, both of those shirts and a ton more. Um, all right, so some chat questions. Speaking of the kitties, Sarah Hatch Jordan asks, what do you think they're going to do with all the flurkins? Are they just going to give them out? They're going to put them on you a random can't planet? put them out. You, they need a job. <laughs> they need a job. Like, these are some cats that can't live rent free. Like, yeah, oh yeah, cat. that's true. That's true. Um, but <laughs> she gotta live rent free. Of course she does. No rent. I feed her. Do whatever she wants. I buy her little novelty sunglasses and clothes that she won't wear. It's a prank on me. But, <laughs> but um, we can't let the Florkins run loose. Are you yeah, kidding? They'll eat, eat everyone. Yeah. <sighs> They'll eat everyone. I mean, it could be a good delivery service oh to eat things and then go somewhere and then barf them up. Yeah. Uh, they they need a specific purpose. That's how we get the Fantastic Four. They arrive they're out in, of they're, in a, they're inside yeah. of a flurkin already? Yeah. <laughs> inside the flurkin is another dimension, right? Mm -hmm. How long have you been in there? Man, it felt like five minutes. <laughs> You've been in here. 50 years. <laughs> it's the end of Captain America 1, like just all over again. Yeah. <laughs> there was a flirting on the battlefield. Oh my God. Um, NCW asking, we just, you know, we talked about this a little bit, but when do you think we see the next Kang, if at all, at this point? He has to be immediate if we're going to do him. Immediately. So Deadpool? Has to. Or what series are coming out next Echo? year? It will Echo? Echo's coming out this year. There's no way he's shoot him in the no. I can't say shoot the black Kang in the face. I cannot say that on. <laughs> yeah, Twitter. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> personally, no. We can cut it. We'll cut it. We'll no, start. No, we'll no, come no, back no, in no. right here. <laughs> Tear Devil doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's too. Yes, yeah, Echo doesn't make sense. Absolutely not. Not an Echo. Yeah. Thunderbolts. Modern. But like that doesn't make sense either. There's no place to put him. Where yeah. do we end the saga? How? Yeah, how do we get to Kang Dynasty? Unless he's like he's the hood's boss in Ironheart or something, like, or there's some mention of him with like dark in Darkhold Diaries. They're like, oh, and this Oh my god, that's must... still a thing to come out. Yeah. That was also where I was thinking like they that might pull in Billy and Tommy too, you know, in a weird way. Because there's been a lot of rumors yeah. about like kids uh, there's I know there's a, a younger actor, I'm forgetting his name, who's in the in that show. But yeah, it... I, that one's, you know what I mean? Yeah, there is, you're right. Next Halloween, hopefully. You're right, there is nowhere to pull him out of. How do we wrap this up? Let's do it. That could, damn, I'm sitting at the stuck thing because every movie or show, none have an opening for him. There, there's mm -hmm. no way he fits into the ones coming up next. None. Yeah, so it's got to be Fantastic Four? That doesn't make sense either. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he I mean, he does make sense, but not for their introduction. Yeah, because he's yeah. a descendant. He's yeah. the thing, you know. Nathaniel he's a Richards. Richards. Yeah. He's a Richards, but still. Like, and that's all, not how I want them introduced. Yeah. Like, Kang introduced, and in, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, that was a really funny uh, quote to go around. <laughs> and it's always it sunny. Works so well. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good family dynamic, right? The I four could, of them. <laughs> I just want to see like they did in the original FF movie 
when you used to have Chris Evans constantly messing with Michael Chiklis every time. Uh, <laughs> that If that you got that going on, I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Every Rose Zero asking, do we think the X-Men in the MCU will now be a continuation of the original X-Men X-Men films and cast and continuity, or they will they eventually introduce a new set of actors and characters? We talked about that a little bit, but I do think I, I do think what's interesting about that is like how much of the original like films, what be it you know the first iteration, the second like the Days of Future Past, all those people, mm. how much is that going to be continuing? I think it ends in Deadpool three. It just it all. I think ends. the old school yeah. ends in Deadpool three. Okay. Both both generations of X Men actors. That's it. You're gonna get because he. This is Marvel. You this, can't make Hugh Jackman do this forever. Uh, you sure in the hell can. <laughs> yeah. You lucky you got him back eating chicken and broccoli for this. Okay. <laughs> You've been doing it for 118 days. You've been doing it for 118 days. But the thing is, like, you want when you talk about these studios and not big IPs, mm-hmm. you want to be able to go for as long as you can. You milk the Avengers for 10, 12 years. Mm-hmm. You want to be able to milk the X-Men now that you control? So you need younger actors so you can have a, mm-hmm. lo- a lengthy amount of time with them. So yeah. you're definitely going to recast. The yeah. problem is it's going to be like, it's going to be at least two people. We all are going to be like, oh my God. And then five, everybody's going to be like, well, I don't know if they should be. Do an up and comer. I don't need a big I, star. I am with you. I will love, because yeah. here's the thing. I will be up if you would need have me. Please. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I agree. Do it up a cover. Yeah. Because oh, they that's need how we got it. Hemsworth? That's how we got Hemsworth. Yeah. You need more. You need it up a cover more. The universe is established. Mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about saying, we need these stars. It's the X Men. You yeah. are fine. Yeah. I mean, that whole generation of the original Avengers, right? It was all people who were either like coming back up or on their way up, right? It, there was no like, Big Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. Um, he already had a yeah. different run, a different life, yeah. and he's he was on his redemption journey. And right. man, did he do it! Yeah, Look, we, I think we all were in the same agree who the same time. It's like you had people like Robert uh, Downey no? Jr. Remember him? Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> From was... the nineties, right? Right. Well, I'm saying yeah, that's like his. That was like his revival. And right? Fat yeah. Favreau had to fight yeah, to, to get, get him. him. In. Yeah, because Paramount was like, no. Dude? Yeah, this guy? You're probably From right Less Than sure, Zero? Yeah. I watched Less Than Zero. That's You're it. probably like the only <laughs> one of seven people. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're like, if we don't, how do we ensure him? Yeah. And Fat Row was like, trust me. And it worked out. It worked out. Yeah. Wild stuff. Um, all right. Also, real quick, if they do bring back Tony Stark and all of them, can y'all let, and I say y'all as fandom, can we let the new actors be the new actors? Yeah. And don't be like, that's not Robert Downey Jr. You're not Chris Evans. L- let them be, even when it comes to the X-Men. That's not Hugh Jackman. Well, that's how we get all precious about not recasting actors. And yes. I, I think we should because it's, well, it's a character. The character yes. characters are beyond us. They, they go on forever and ever. And it's a great turn to see someone's alternate uh, take on the character and how they might react or mm. feel or think. And it's refreshing. Yes. Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Last question. I think this one's like a little confusing, though. So, hey, if it breaks our brains, that's a good note to go out on. Um, how many? How have these timelines existed for so long? I.e., the Fox universe, the Sony universe. If it was only until recently that the sacred timeline was the only one which was allowed, uh, are alternate universes even the same thing as timelines? And if not, why? They yeah. always existed. We just right. didn't know about them. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. They were all just separate until... Yeah. The like sacred learning. timeline is yeah. literally just the timeline. To, like he said, this is just to stop the multiversal war. Mm-hmm. Like the, the sacred time, we didn't know about them. We don't know about yeah. people. Again, Henry McCoy just finds out, wait, there's reality. There's different realities. Mm-hmm. That can't be true. And then you got this black chick with beautiful hair going, uh, that is my mama in another world. Oh, I'm not your mother. You know, you're confused. You're confused. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she, she was like, <laughs> don't touch me. No. She was like, that lip quiver. She oh, I'm so sorry. It was like, yeah. oh my God, they're going to Academy Award winning performance. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Also, I meant to ask earlier though, but do you think the uh, Charles Xavier we saw in Multiverse of Madness is the same Xavier that, he's, that Hank McCoy is referring to at the end of uh, uh, the Marvels? 
possibly. Because it, it, that kind of came up when we were talking about it last but week, but it was not in those certain this terms. This is the same universe they visited in Multiverse of Madness. And yeah. I would say it probably isn't. That's for sure, yeah. Because I think that universe was being... Uh, that universe got messed yeah, up. Yeah, totally. and it was also being used as a way, right, for people to just gather. To converge. In. Yeah. Also, that act, the the entry to Cerebros mm -hmm. is the entry. I mean, it's the entry from all the Fox films. That's so right, yeah. It's like a uniform thing they use. Yeah. But I think, the, again, the thing with multiverses, most things are the same. One small thing is different. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it. I don't think it's McAvoy. I don't think it's Stewart. I mm -hmm. think it's a black dude. I remember, it's been yeah. rumored that it might yeah. be either Giancarlo Esposito or Denzel or somebody mm. big. I would like it to be Giancarlo Esposito. I want Giancarlo that Esposito to be, to be Xavier. Yeah, that'd be sick. To be Xavier? I'd like to see him as a hero. Yes, yeah. exactly. He has yeah. been the bad guy for everything. So everything. Yeah. Give me Giancarlo Esposito. I, I hadn't heard that before. That would be I, awesome. I've seen that one around and I like that one. Because yeah. it, it'd be such an unexpected turn, and we know he could do it. I mean, he's a great actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because everybody yeah. wanted him to be Magneto, which I mean, he's the, always the, the bad, bad guy. guy. Yeah. Because yeah. he's always the bad guy. Make him no, Charles really Xavier. Good. Yeah. Damn. Because everybody's gonna expect. Ma I would say I'm gonna just say it the way it is. McAvoy Stewart or another white guy. People are going to expect that. Mm -hmm. Automatically. Yeah. If is it again? If we're playing the multiversal world game. Yeah. He can be whoever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we could trust him with that. I think he could do really good things with the role. We yeah. might not expect it, but there have been a lot of great actor character turns in the MCU that we didn't expect. Mm -hmm. Start the campaign now, everybody. Do it. Yeah, the Dacosta edit. <laughs> um, hey, that's it for us today. Make sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these videos live. Um, would you guys like to plug anything? Kim. Yeah. Um, I'm on social media. I have a different name on every platform. Don't follow me on Facebook. I don't even touch Facebook. And I am on, uh, I'm kind of a freelancer and I'm on a rival channel to this one sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't bail I'm Mr. J. Washington across all social platforms. M-R-J-A-Y, you should know how to spell Washington. And check out the BBC Club podcast. That's the Black Boy Content Club podcast. See, you turned around too quick. Like, <gasps> yep, you thought it was a <laughs> British even... baking show. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. You got a podcast about black... <laughs> black Boy Content. So, yeah. Hey, and at Break Room NR on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter slash X. Uh... Later. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Bye.